And for this next story, we found a man who turned a hobby into a profession, and he's now considered one of the very best at his trade. Tonight, Mike Haas takes us down the street, down the bayou to Homa and Terrebonne Parish. On one side of Carl Treg's Swampland Taxidermy Shop in Homa is pretty much what you would expect to see. Deer, fish, and ducks. The other side, not so much. It is the resume of one of the most sought after taxidermists in the country. Life-sized animals from Africa, Canada, and the United States. It began when the self-taught Terrebonne teenager learned people would pay for something he loved doing for free. This just keep, keeps getting better and better, you know? So that's opened up the doors. Carl is meticulously working on the face of this African Cape Buffalo for a client. You see, as his business got bigger, so did the animals, giraffes, elephants, and everything in between. There is no stuffing. The frame of the mounts are actually mannequins made of polyurethane foam. That's what makes up the nose, uh, the particulars of a wildebeest. And a wall full of nose molds allows Carl to duplicate the animal's intricate details. So I'll take this and use this for reference and then come back and put all this in. You know, you can rasp it into the foam and all. This is a Thompson gazelle, and we're going to have a, a Dama gazelle standing up on its hind legs, feeding in the top of this tree. He spent decades studying animals in their natural surroundings. So when he creates one, it's as real as it can be. So a lot of times I'd sit, like say in a deer stand, I wouldn't even shoot. I'd just sit there watching them, doing different things. When people come in and see this in Yala, a member of the antelope family, they can see a lot of different things, the habitat, a different part of the animal. But for Carl, it's about the attention to detail, and that's in the nose and the eyes because it makes them more lifelike, it's much more accurate. And for me personally, it's more of a challenge. This is gonna be a life-size mountain goat. Carl's projects can take anywhere from a few days to a few months. But after nearly 50 years of mounting them, he'd like to do a little more catching them. We are down the bayou tonight, I'm Mike Hoss. <laughs> apparently has some heavy hitters as clients, including two-time presidential uh, contender Ross Perot, who apparently ordered more than 80 projects. 80? Over the wow. Past what, what is, <laughs> and if it takes menagerie. a couple of months, that's, yeah. I learned something from that story. That was very <laughs> wow. interesting. Yeah.